Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to solve this simply supported beam with a rectangular load acting on the beam. A rectangular or we can say the uniformly distributed load acting on this beam with a magnitude of 5 kN per meter. And the total length of the simply supported beam is 10 meter. And these are the supports. Let's consider this support A and this is support B. And the support will provide the reaction here RA and it will be RB. Now to find out the support reactions, first we have to know that how much is this rectangular load acting on this beam. This is a uniformly distributed load. So we have to convert in a pointed load. So we have to find out the area of this rectangular load. So the area of this rectangle will be base into height. This is area of the rectangle. So the base is 10 meter and height is this is 5 kN per meter is the height meter meter will be cancelled so we got 50 kN 50 kN is the load acting on this beam at the center of this beam now after determining the total load acting on this beam we can easily find the support reactions by this equilibrium equation, the summation of Fx is equal to zero, summation of Fy equal to zero, and summation of moment equal to zero. Hence, there is no horizontal load acting on this beam, so we cannot use this equation. And also, there is two unknowns. One is Ra and one is Rb. So we can also not use this equation, because this equation can be only used when we have only one unknown. So we are only remaining with this equation. So we can use this equation when we have two unknowns, R A and R B. So let's consider the summation of moment at point A equal to zero, and clockwise moment is taken as positive, and anticlockwise moment is taken as negative. Now R B will create the moment about point A in the anticlockwise direction. So minus R B multiplied with the moment arm. The moment arm is the distance from point B up to A, which is 10 meter. And then this load will also create the moment about point A, so it is acting downward. So it will create the moment in the clockwise direction about point A. So it will be 50 multiplied with the moment arm, which will be the half of the beam. Half of the beam means 10 meter divided by 2, so it will be 5 meter. So summation of all these forces equal to 0. Summation of all these moments equal to 0. Now to simplify this, 10 RB, I will shift this into the right side. So 10 RB, we have here 50 and n to 5. So we got 250 kilonewton. Now RP, if we divide this 10 here, 250 divided by 10, we got 25 kilonewton. So it means RB here is 25 kilonewton. So 50 is the total load, 25 kilonewton is taken by the RB. So what will be the load taken by RA? So if 50 minus 25, it will be equal to the 25. So RA will be equal to the 50 is the total load minus 25. So RA will be equal to the 25 kilonewton. Or we can solve in the simple method. This is 25 kilonewton. Or we can solve this by another method. That summation of vertical force is equal to zero by this method. Now, the summation of vertical force is equal to zero, and let's suppose the upward forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. Now, the upward forces are RA and RB minus 50, which is acting downward, so summation of all forces is equal to zero. Now, RE will be equal to the, if you move this into the right side, so we get 50 minus RB, and RB is 25. So RA become 50, 50 minus 25, RA comes out to be 25 kilonewton. So RA is 25 kilonewton. Now this beam is in equilibrium because the RA and RB supports the upcoming load which is 50 kilonewton. So 25 plus 25 is 50 kilonewton and the load is also 50 kilonewton. So I hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video. Thank you.